peace to you, everyone. Good morning. I want to show you guys some of my work clubs that I'm working on. <clears throat> First off, this is one of the more recent ones. Um, both of these came from uh, my mom's backyard in 2013. Now the one 2014, Happy New Year. Um, this is Elm. Elm is a pretty decent hardwood and it does have a beautiful grain. It's a very beautiful color to it. Um, the problem is you can see there's some cracking that happened. Now I could carve this into an animal face. I don't know if any historical Muscogee or Muscogean uh, <clears throat> clubs that had animal faces on them, but I know that some of the Cherokee clubs did have kind of a weird human-y looking face with a spike sticking out of the mouth. I could always do something like that, but I don't want to lose the, the ball shape. This actually didn't come from a um, this didn't come from the trunk with a branch sticking out that's that's really the best way to get a ball club or to get the root this isn't actually the root this is from a, a single branch um, let me think here it's a long piece I believe the branch kind of came out here so really I, I, if it was like this that would have been fine it was more like this so yeah, Elm's a good wood. The problem is I didn't I didn't seal the ends properly, so there was cracking, which I was able to fix with some glue. Type on three wood glue is uh, is a miracle glue when it comes to gluing wood together. So I did fill in some spots. I did a lot of hand filing on this thing, but yeah, um, I can clean it up a little bit more. I'm going to, but not by too much because this thing is a heck of a weapon. It already has a curve. because I, I cut this, um, well, the piece of wood was cut green not long before I went to visit. And as a result, um, even after I carved it, I mean, there's still plenty of moisture in it. It wasn't a split piece of wood. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's gonna always have that bow in it, but it doesn't matter. The single crack some skulls if I ever had to use it. Okay. Both of these came from the same walnut tree. This is from 2007, and it does have a lot of work if I'm gonna make it to a regular club. But holy crap, look at this thing, man. Um, you know, yeah, I can trim that off, and yeah, I can, I can trim that off, and that would actually make it a pretty ideal ball club from walnut. And I probably will eventually do that, I just haven't done it yet. I haven't had the heart to, because my mom, saw this, she's like, oh, that's, a, that's quite a shillelagh. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I know, look at that. I mean, yeah, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> I mean, this thing caused some serious damage the way it is, but it could also, if I trim it, if I, you know, trim it to a proper ball club, you know, if I, if I really trim all this extra material off, you know, just, just look at that and compare that to existing ball clubs, that would actually be pretty, uh, pretty ideal. So we'll see. This piece, which has a lot of, uh, unfortunately, termite damage, I didn't see when I pulled it off the tree. Um, I filled it with some glue. This branch looks like the one you'll see, and I'll probably end up cutting this off right here, and then straightening that a little bit, and maybe even trimming a little bit of, like, a little bit of that off, but I'm gonna leave this. Because this piece of wood looks like the, um, the curved ball club that you see on the drought of the Creek Nation image. And because of that, I'm probably gonna keep this, the shape of this mostly intact. I'm obviously gonna, you know, make it look cleaner, but because of all of the little channel marks uh, created by those little termites, um, I'm gonna have to sand this thing enough and then paint it red and just try to make it look as much like there was never any termite damage in the first place. I'm not gonna be uh, ghetto and use Bondo but, uh, you know, um, but yeah, even as there's like a, a little branch, I'm going to fill that in with even more glue. But this is, the original one looks like there's like a bird ear and almost like a bird beak kind of thing. It almost looks like that in the image. It's hard to tell, but that's kind of what it looks like. So I'm going to try to make this into that shape. So in time, I haven't had time, but... Uh, whoops. So this is my uh, 
my Muskogee Indian Scottish Targe. So yes, this is a Scottish Targe. It will, it will belt on right here and right here. There will be a pillow on the back of it. It is plywood covered in canvas and painted with um, painted with a water-based paint. And yeah, it is basically the same design that you'll see on some of the shell carvings. And so uh, the colors are my choice. There were no colors on the white bone original or shell original, just, you know, white, off-white, yellowy. So um, the colors are my choice. But anyway, more on this later once it's actually finished. I just wanted to give you guys and I, you know, a pretty good idea. I, I finished painting it. I, fin I finished getting the, uh, uh, all the fine lines. And there's still some things I can do to fix it. It's not perfect. Uh, artwork rarely ever is. And sometimes it's the imperfections that make it perfect. I'll let you guys decide that since you're the viewers. And hope nobody's offended by this Indian motorcycle shirt I'm wearing because I'm not. And I'm a Scooby Indian. So, you know, if that's a problem, I mean, that sounds like a personal problem if it is. <laughs> so I'm saying, you have to say Native American. You have to say First Nations. You have to say Indigenous peoples. You can't say Indian. I don't care. Muskogee Creek Indian. That's what we say in Oklahoma. So I don't care. Um, also, I used to own a 1957 Indian Tomahawk. Um, it was not complete. It was a parts bike, kind of. And uh, I was restoring the parts, but never got around to finishing it. It was too expensive to assemble. And so I sold it off. And I'm getting a Triumph. But I would love to have an Indian motorcycle that says Muskogee Indian. And instead of the typical headdress, I like to have kind of the turban with the, with the ostrich feather, you know, looking kind of like um, a Pothaleahola or one of those guys. Because that would be pretty cool on a motorcycle. But anyhow, that's, um, those are my thoughts. Um, <clears throat> let me know what you think of my, uh, my homemade weapons. And I'll catch you all later. Mado and uh, Adam Chi Chathlis.